why does the rule of 72 work? First off, what is the rule of 72? The rule of 72 is basically if you take a, uh, an investment, let's say grand, grandma's in a good mood and gives you 10 grand and says, go stick this in a savings account, you can use it for your college. So you want to know when that 10,000 is going to turn into 20, right? And we want to know when that baby's going to be worth 20 grand. Let's say you find this bank that's willing to give you 9% interest. Of course, they may not be in banking very long if they do that. But let's say, hypothetically, they do. So 72 divided by 9 is approximately 8. So I know in about 8 years, I am going to have 20 grand sitting in that account. Kind of a nice little rule of thumb. Why does it work? Well, you go to the... Uh, basic equation for an exponential growth uh, formula and again you've got we talked about this before you got a final and uh, final amount here the initial amount goes here your growth rate goes here your time goes here and so we have all the variables ready to go so 20,000 our final equals 10,000 times 1.09 for 9 percent growth uh, all of your investment plus 9% to the T power. And if you remember from the four essential things, we need to use a logarithm. Um, and why we need logarithm, those two uh, uh, videos, we're going to need a logarithm to get this T isolated so we can use simple division to get this thing solved. So I'm going to use the natural log this time instead of the common log. But first off, we want to isolate the exponent. So I'm going to divide by 10,000. And if you think about it, anytime something doubles, you're going to end up with 2 right here. So 2 is equal to 1.09 to the t power. Okay. So now we're going to pop in that natural log. So ln of 2 and ln of 1.09 to the t. If you remember from the, that fourth essential thing you need to know, and it's probably the most important of the four, besides what a logarithm is, basically, that pops the t out in front of the natural log. So now we've got an equation that looks like this. Natural log of 2 equals t times natural log of 1.09. Now we go ahead and divide by the natural log of 1.09. Natural log of 1.09. Okay. Um, so we've got this thing ready to kind of go. So t is equal to the natural log of 2 divided by the natural log of 1.09. So let's find out what this thing's about, about equal to. So I pull out my calculator. Um, we go ahead and type in 2 ln. Hmm, 0.693. That's interesting. Okay. So I'm going to stick that number in, 0.693, divided by, I'll pull my calculator back, divided by um, 1.09, natural log, hmm, that kind of is interesting, the number, 8.6 times 10 to the negative 2, which is 0.086. And now, whoops, um, there we go, it disappeared on me, 0 0.086. And now I'm going to divide those, hit equals in my calculator, and I get 8.04. Holy cow, that is a close approximation. Okay, 8.04. But where's the 72? All right, well, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to multiply this top by 100 and this bottom by 100. And notice you get 69 divided by 9, approximately. And so this is a close approximation to the 72 we talked about earlier. And if you look, the reason they chose 72 and not 69 is look at all the factors of 72. It's a lot easier to do it in your head. They didn't have calculators in the 1500s. And so there's my basic example of why, what the rule of 72 is and uh, uh, why it works. See if you can prove that it works all the time.